Rob Fishman. I am the technical director here at the Old Town School of Folk Music. This is the beautiful concert hall at the Old Town School of Folk Music. This space is really a, a dream job for any sound engineer. Uh, any engineer who's worked in this space has been spoiled. The reason I say that because the acoustics of the room are impeccable. The PA itself is very good. And the musicians who play on stage here, I mean, really, what can you say? They are the best at what they do. Those are key elements to set up a situation where you can create excellent sound and have good results for a show. Well, the acoustics of the room are so good from a sound engineer's perspective because the room is extremely dry and it kind of creates a studio-like feel. Now, from a sound engineer's perspective, this is ideal because there are no weird reflections and it really allows the engineer to mix how he or she would like to mix, including uh, adding in effects, EQing the way they want to EQ. From a musician's point of view, once in a while we have some issues with the dryness of the room, and uh, it usually is reflected with the vocalist. The reason why that is, because the room is so dry, not a lot of information from the mains comes back to the stage. So occasionally vocalists have a hard time hearing themselves in this room where in a livelier room they might be getting more feedback from the actual PA. This is not a, a regular thing in terms of the vocalist having problems hearing themselves. Once in a while we, we, we get that feedback but it's not a regular issue or problem that we have to deal with here. You just usually need to give them more monitor. Mm -hmm. That's usually the, the answer to that. In this particular room, really, uh, we don't have too many challenges here because of the great PA we have and, and the great acoustics of the room. However, uh, there are some obstacles that we have to deal with. For example, in the back of the room, underneath the balcony, uh, is a little bit of a darker feel than if you're in front of the balcony. Uh, the designer of the room compensated for that by installing 36 Altec little speakers underneath the balcony. So we have a little speaker fills throughout the entire under uh, balcony area. Um, one other location are the rows, the seating that's directly in front of the stage and to the sides of the concert hall. It's kind of the same feel. It's not that it's a darker feel, but the way that the PA is hung, <clears throat> the higher frequency information goes over those first two rows heads. So what I had did, I have integrated some side fills and front spill, front fill speakers to uh, to deliver the higher frequency information. That higher frequency information is the clarity and the definition of sound. So if you're missing that, it's going to sound like a muddy mix. So uh, adding the side and the front fills seems to have taken care of that issue in this space. 